You serious? Are you serious? What? It is so cold. It's 13 below zero here this morning. Uh, when I went outside to start the car and get ready to clear out the snow to get it out of the drive where it was buried. And 39 below windshield here in northern Indiana. I apologize that we lost our live broadcast last night after one hour. But due to the severe high winds and brutal temperatures, the servers went down to the main providers. They're back up and going this morning, and we praise the Lord for that. Uh, let me just say also, grab a Bible, get a warm cup of coffee, get a hot cup of coffee, and let's have a powerful day in the Lord today. Mm. Uh, I'm going to read a great story. I love this story. It's found in St. John chapter 2, known as the marriage of Cana. Powerful where Jesus Christ performed his first miracle in his uh, time here on earth and in a, uh, while on the planet in the flesh. Okay, here's what it says. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage, um, and when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto them, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which, were, which drew the water knew. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom. And he said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine unto now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. And after this he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables. And he said unto them that sold the doves, Take these things hence. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. And his disciples, remembering that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews, and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered, and he that said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, 
on the feast day, many believed in his name. And when they saw the miracles which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of man for he knew what was in man. John, St. John chapter 2, the marriage of Cana and the wisdom of Christ. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. He turned the water into wine. He took what was in the law, the shadow, the things of the law, and brought us into grace. He performed the first miracle at the marriage of Cana. God bless.